This is Chase Donnelly from STM Football. This is time for Friday Night Hike. Hello everyone and welcome in to the uh, Friday Night Hike. Now the Sturgis football team has gotten off to a nice 2-2 two and two start this season. That's right Vic and tonight the Scoopers return to the field for a Black Hills Conference showdown against St. Thomas Moore. The play at Whittle Field was pushed back an hour due to lightning in the area and when the game get, did get kicked off the Cavaliers looked tough to beat 2nd and 18. Lee Negenbauer connects with Graydon Juvie on the slant good enough for a, good enough for a pickup of 11 yards. Cavs though, short of the first down. The SCM defense would get the offense right back on the field. Aiden Hederman drops back, but Riley Gay jumps up and grabs the interception. A nice play for the big fella. In the second quarter, Sturgis with the ball and knocking on the door. Hederman says, forget about the interception. I'm keeping the ball myself. He finds the goal line on a 21-yard quarterback keeper. Scoopers go on to win at 23-13. The rings head away from Lyle Hare Stadium. Spearfish hosting Belfouch in its homecoming game. On the opening drive, Seth Hamilton marching the field with ease. He takes the snap and handles business himself, finding the outside and reaching across the pylon for six. He would be wide right, though, on the extra point. Back in the Bronx territory, Bel uh, Hamilton with the lob to Caden Langenfeld, who makes the grab but doesn't hold on tight enough. Carter McKinnon knocks it free while Harvey Walding secures the ball. In the second quarter, Spartans with possession. Seth Hamilton looking like a pro, rolls out, sets his feet, and makes the throw again to Caden Langefeld, who holds on this time and takes it all the way. Spearfish takes the game over Belfouche 40 to 7 and improves to 4 and 1 on the season. Now, over to you, Vic. Thank you, Andrew. Rapid City Central at home tonight to take on Sioux Falls, Washington. In the first quarter, Cobblers up 6-0. Central Zach Soderlund gets in and sacks Thomas Hoffman for a big loss of 12. Also a standout running back. That forced a Warriors punt. Second quarter, then Ryan Wetch completes the pass to Braden Jackson. He takes it for a gain of 11. Good effort by the Cobblers tonight, but Sioux Falls, Washington turns it on in the second half to get the win, 37 to 20. But props to Central on that nice effort. Hey, we got more coming up, more highlights, including we'll head into the nine man ranks. Check out the Phillips Scatties. Oh,